Here is the Amityville Horror House built in stud CAD software. This model took me roughly about a month to put together in this program between work and everything. And I think I got it about 80, 85% accurate. I didn't take the best photos of this house. And looks pretty darn close. At least this time there's no shaky camera and the quality is a little better. So let's pop off some floors and we'll see what's in the inside. Well, let's take a look at the top real quick. So that's what it looks like on the top. Nothing beats than the real brick, but unfortunately we don't have that. <laughs> so let's disable some stuff. Turn all the floors off, except for the floor, first floor. Now here's a warning. There's no furnishings in this house. I haven't gotten that far yet to actually start assembling the furniture, so I'm going to kind of run through it. So here we have our entryway. This, this time I had tiles. We got the nice black shag carpet. We got a fireplace. A little bit too modern for this house. A little sun porch and here we have a small little formal dining room and in the back here we have ourselves a little kitchen. Let's zoom right in on that right there. Now this time in this model I got a little better about adding cupboards and such. Now where this door is at there's supposed to be a small half bathroom. Now using the software it's hard to actually open that door up. Maybe the next time I do a tour on this, I will actually have that open. So, not a whole lot going on with the first floor. Now let's turn on the second floor. So here we have our landing for a second floor. Here's the... So here we have our toilet. Our fake vanity. As you can see, there's not even a sink basin and here we have ourselves a small little tub so I was kind of cramped for space I try to make it work as much as I can and of course if we zoom out all the way we have four bedrooms so it's when I start getting the furnishings I'm gonna start furnishing all these houses up eventually so not a whole lot going on with that floor well, this house, unlike the first one I did, actually has attic access. So here we have the landing for the third story, and we have two bedrooms off to the left and right hand side. And you actually got access to these windows as well. So if I can position this just right, you can see I can see right out those. Now, this doesn't beat the real product. I actually prefer to build with real Lego. Yes, I said it this time. And you know, it's just how things are now. Here's the roof. Now, you can actually see straight down into that chimney there. Let's see if I can position it just right. So there we go. You can see all the way down to the ground floor. Now, I've been getting requests for this to be a set of building instructions for the last nine years. And now, since I have a rough copy of this, I can do that. And now, will the instructions be free? No. But I will be doing a complete rebuild of this project, so I can make the instructions better. As you can see, well, we're forgetting some things. Like you can see right here, there's no driveway or front yard, no backyard or anything like that. This is pretty well stripped. and I. Now I found the original blueprints to the house, so I can actually build a better model. But that's pretty much about it for this house. Um, this was the second house that I actually published on this channel. And it didn't take that long to put that together. This model took a little longer. But nonetheless, though, it still turned out very well for what I had back in the day.